Welcome to Tech Tycoon. Well, we all have seen amazing vehicles on both air and land. Well, there are many coolest vehicles on Earth, which are least known to us. Perhaps because of less popularity than ordinary vehicles, there are some awesome water vehicles that can do some extraordinary job that would definitely make you feel surprised. So there we are. In this video, we are going to present you with 10 water vehicles that will blow your mind. In this video, we have chosen the top 10 water vehicles that can do some really amazing job. If you are interested to know about the list, then you should definitely watch this video till the end. If you don't want to miss our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post new videos. Number 10. Gibbs Quadski. Well, we all have seen a quad bike in our life. They can pretty much do great off-road on land. Will you ever believe that there is a quad bike that can be used both land and water at the same time? Let's talk about Gibbs Quadski, an amphibious quad bike ATV. Launched in October 2012 by Gibbs Sports Amphibians, the Quadski is a four-stroke amphiquad that converts to a personal watercraft. It features a top speed of 72 kmh, 45 mph, on both land and water. The quad ski can transition between land and water in about 5 seconds. Sounds great, right? The quad ski uses a marinized version of BMW Motorrad's 1.3 liter engine from the K1300. It allows for over 2 hours travel time on the water. Its range on land is up to around 600 kilometers and is available in selected regions of the United States with a starting price of about $40,000. Ust. Number 9. The Panther, likewise the Gibbs. The Panther is a commercial amphibious car manufactured by California-based water car. It was introduced in 2013 after 14 years of development and is being produced in Fountain Valley, California. The Panther holds a top speed of 80 mph, 130 kmh, on land and 45 mph, 72 kmh, on water. The Panther has three trim levels, with the top model equipped with a 3.7L Soak V6 VTEC engine, which produces 305 HP. It costs around $158,000 USD. Number 8. Iguana Commuter. As the name implies, Iguana Commuter is a luxury yacht that can travel on both land and water. Iguana's cozy cabin complete with integrated head allows owners and guests to enjoy the Iguana experience all day. It has amazing features including adjustable hardtop, which transforms from watertight helm to lofty sunshade in seconds. It has an electric anchor complete with depth measure can be deployed at the touch of a button to the exact length required, and could tackle virtually any terrain so owners can use it any time regardless of tide constraints. The commuter costs whooping $700,000 USD, and is manufactured by its own brand Iguana. Number 7. The Cosmic Muffin. Well, this water vehicle is just bizarre. It's not a commercial vehicle though, but made for demonstration only. Thanks it has successfully completed its objectives. The Cosmic Muffin is a boat made out of a rare and historic aircraft. The Boeing 307 Stratoliner dating back to 1939. The 307 was the first commercial pressurized aircraft, and only 10 307s were built in the late 1930s. Production of the aircraft was abruptly stopped when war broke out in Europe. The airplane was declared abandoned property and put up for auction. Ken London, a private pilot, came in with the winning bid, a mere $1.62. It was Ken who turned the airplane into a motor yacht after removing the wings. That's how an airplane turned into a motorboat out of restoration. Number 6. Electric Water Go-Kart Gliss Speed GSR Gliss Speed is the first electric nautical go-kart. Very easy to drive, accessible for kids and adults, funny, environmentally friendly, and noiseless. This compact little one-seater features an onboard electric motor and lithium battery that can reach speeds of up to 14 knots and can travel for two hours on a single charge. Well, it's famous as there is no need for fuel and is totally electric. Number 5. The Origami Boat. This boat was made by an artist named Frank Balter. This was actually a project made by the artist that used Tetra Packs into a 9-meter boat. 
The cost of the 25 kg boat was only around 150 euro and was built only in two hours. It used 170 sq meter of restored tetra pack junks. Sounds fantastic, right? Have you ever thought to yourself that someone can turn our enjoying paper origami boat into a boat that can actually carry people? Fascinating, right? Number 4. The Planet Solar, known under the project name Planet Solar. Founded by the Swiss explorer Raphael Domgen, is the largest solar-powered boat in the world. The 31-meter boat is covered by 537 M2 of solar panels rated at 93 kW, which in turn connect to two electric motors, one in each hull. There are 8.5 tons of lithium-ion batteries in the ship's two hulls. The boat's shape allows it to reach speeds of up to 10 knots. The hull was model tested in wind tunnels and was tank tested to determine its hydrodynamics and aerodynamics. The boat was designed to be used as a luxury yacht after the record attempt was finished. Number 3. The Scubster. The Scubster Nemo is a personal single pilot carbon fiber submarine. This sub is powered by a pair of electric motors that allow it to attain a top speed of 8 km each. The Scubster Nemo looks like it could make for a great research tool for marine scientists, archaeologists, and the like, and could also be used for coastal patrol authorities. It also of course looks like a great deal of fun and could be used for purely recreational exploration. Well, there are other Scubster available that use a physical paddle instead of an electrical motor, so such a mini submarine is smaller and less less powerful than this one. Number 2. Helicat. Helicat is a marine vessel designed by Conte Yacht Design. The vessel resembles a helicopter cabin on a pair of pontoons. It looks like a hybrid of a helicopter and catamaran. The helicat can be driven at speeds from 20-45 and burns only 4-13 gph, getting 5 to 3.5 miles per gallon, which is unusually good for a boat that can handle rough water. Combined with her stability, it makes commuting on the water practical and economical. The helicat costs around $75,000 USD. Number 1. The Sea Breacher X. The Sea Breacher X is the highest performance model in the Sea Breacher range, which also has models that are shaped like a dolphin and a killer whale. The shark inspired Sea Breacher X offers a supercharged 300 horsepower engine. The Sea Breacher X's top speed is around 50 mph. It can skid above or dive below the water and uses its fins to turn on a dime. Special maneuvers include breaching and barrel rolls. The Sea Breacher X costs around $80,000 USD. If someone is running after low cash, the company in Nespace says there are a number of clients that can consider setting up on rental facilities, so it's finally time for people to be a shark. So here we have come to the end of the video, hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, kindly let us know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. See you in the next video.